Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericaMuscle.com here with a review of these MBRP long tube header and mid pipe kit available for 2015 and up S550 GT Mustangs. In this video we're going to be looking at a few different things in regards to this kit. We're going to talk about the materials and construction of the headers and the mid pipe themselves and the install too. I'll talk more about this later but I can tell you right now that long tube headers make for a difficult install so I'm going to call this one a 3 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter. This kit from MBRP that includes long tube headers and matching mid pipe connecting pipes is going to be a good option for someone looking for a natural finish off road long tube header for both performance and sound gains that comes with the matching mid pipe connecting pipes and makes way for a continuing 3 inch cat back. If we start with the heart of this kit we'll be looking at the headers. Long tube headers are going to offer both performance and sound gains but the end result of your headers will depend on the rest of your setup. The runners on these particular headers are 1 and 7 8 inch, which is slightly different than the 1 and 3 quarter inch offering. Traditionally, you see forced induction cars running the larger runners and NA cars running the 1 and 3 fourths runners, but I wouldn't really say that that's a hard and fast rule, especially with the new Coyotes. So you don't have to have a blower to run a 1 and 7 8 inch diameter, you just need to keep in mind your current mods and the goals you have for your car when you're looking around, as well as what going with this size runner will do to your power band with the mods that you currently have. If you have some bolt-ons and you're still NA, you might see a hit on your low-end torque, but once you spin the Coyote motor up, the larger diameter is going to help keep things moving so that what you're going to see are top-end gains. Getting into the specifics here, these are a 304 stainless steel header that have a natural or raw finish, which is going to be different than a chrome or ceramic coated header. It obviously doesn't have the polished appearance that a chrome header would have, and while these do not have the ceramic coating either, they are made from that 304 stainless steel tubing, so you won't have to worry about corrosion. And not to mention, you get to see the beautiful welds since these do have that raw finish. And this is manual bent tubing, which is going to help with smoother air delivery. The primary tubes then merge down to 3 inch collectors, and MBRP has these header flanges here that are laser cut, and they do that to prevent leaks and create a good fit. Then you have your connection pipes here. These are 3 inch pipes, and those are going to connect down to your mid pipe. They're three inch, like I just said, and they are off-road pipes. So they're gonna require a three inch cap back to be bolted up to them. And if you didn't know already, when you change your header setup to a long tube setup, you also need to change your mid pipe to a shorty mid pipe to work with the long tubes. So just keep the three inch requirement in mind when you pick out your cap back, or at least your mid pipe. If we move on to price, as we all pretty much know, or you'd know if you've been shopping for long tubes, that they're pretty much gonna be a solid investment. They're pricey and they're difficult to install. The option from MBRP, since they are a higher quality item that's more at the top of the food chain, are going to be on the more expensive side. The 1 and 7 8 option that we have here are going to be slightly more expensive, which isn't unusual to see. You do tend to see the larger runner costing more than the smaller runners, but not usually by very much at all. You're looking at spending between $1,100 and $1,200 for this kit. And that's why I call long tube headers an investment. You do have to keep in mind all of the benefits and power that you'll be getting from a setup like this one here. And to put things in perspective, it's not just MBRP that's going to be expensive. You'll be looking at headers costing over a grand anyways. As for the install on this one, long tubes are going to be a difficult install. I don't say this often, but if you don't have a helping hand or you don't have much experience, it might be better to just take the car to a shop for the install. If you do tackle this yourself, it's going to be a full 3 out of 3 wrenches on the scale and a day in the garage, especially considering that you'll be installing a cat back or at least a mid pipe with these headers. You can do it on a jack and jack stands, but a lift would certainly make this easier for sure. You're going to need your toolbox for this one with an assortment of different sockets, wrenches and extensions. You're looking at things like disconnecting the steering shaft, dropping the starter and removing a motor mount. A lot of this install requires working in some pretty tight areas, so while everything is straightforward, getting access and maneuverability in these areas is actually tricky, which is why you need to pull the motor mount on one side, so you can raise the motor slightly with a jack to give you some more room. And having a helping hand in this case is really going to benefit you, but a day of wrestling and some pretty pennies spent on these mods is totally worth it in my opinion. So wrapping things up with the MBRP long tube headers, these are 304 stainless steel headers that come with off-road mid-pipe connection pipes that are 3 inch. The headers have 1 and 7 8 inch runners and you will need a 3 inch cap back to pair with these headers. As usual, you can check them out more online for yourself right here at AmericaMuscle.com.